Well, after much deliberation, <sighs> we finally decided to do Cramac, have we not? Yep. Yep. And I'm always saying to Ray, let's do it on a weathery day. You know, let's experience how it really was. It's not my best idea. No. I've generally resisted. I'm not going to moan. Oh, wonder if I can get that in writing. <laughs> it is cold. So it's the, uh, what date is today? Ooh, Tuesday. Uh, 17th of Eight. October. 18th. No, it's the 17th because Eight. yesterday Greens was handed over to other people. Oh, the new owners. And I won't forget the date. Hounds are with us as usual. Certainly won't be cold on the way back up, will I? Nope. Nope. Hmm. We couldn't decide which way to do this particular video because whichever way you go, it's a tough trek. And um, we looked at coming from the dam side, but that's a vertical walk at the side of a precipice, really. <coughs> Should we go up that way? No? No, straight down. Well, it's like a bit of a drop here, isn't there? Yeah. Well, you go first then. <sighs> okay, maybe not. The other way was from um, Montpellier. Goes past Close Farm to Cramag. It kind of reminds me, really, the two farms have been tied to the Cowleys for hundreds of years. From 1700? Even. Well, the original way into the farm was up through the reservoir, wasn't it? Yeah. That would have been nice if they'd just left that there, really. <sighs> There's a farm buried in the reservoir, too, still. Eh? There is a farm in the reservoir still, too. Oh, when are we going to do that one? Yeah, I know you'll be saying, I think you should do that one on your own, Ray. <laughs> is that my voice, is it? It is when you want to get rid of me. Hardy souls are we. Still, we've got our sandwiches packed. And I'm carrying them as usual, along with all the books. Should I go down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. If you, I know, fall, but... if, you, if you do fall, it'll be really exciting on the video. <laughs> I'm, um, I don't like unfamiliar ground. No, you just stand there and wait. <sighs> How no are you? Point, no point in us both falling, darling. Oh, oh my bum's wet now. Oh, oh, I don't like it. Oh, thanks, Roxy. What a gentleman you are. Does it, is it as bad as it, bad as it looks? Oh. Uh, no, Roxy's... No, it's, I think it's all right. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that is a, that's a big bloody buggy hole there. Eh? <laughs> you held up that camera really well bloody then. Bloody right I did. Bloody hell. It's cost me thousands of pounds this gear. I know, you just use an iPhone. It's going to get that stage, isn't it? Yeah. Say, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. No, I'm scared. 
so. Well, it's not as easy as I thought. No. I thought it'd be quite easy by that river. Oh, Ray, don't run, don't run away. <laughs> I'm sure when I asked you. <laughs> well, we need to get where the grass is tufty, not this. Oh, grass. wow, Sherlock. Shut up. <sighs> I just have visions of going down a bloody mine shaft or something. No mine's here. How do you know? That might be. A big hole that has just well, appeared just, in the earth or something. I found one up there as well. Oh, God. It's all right, I don't need a wee anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's all gone, is it? <laughs> Yeah, could you have slid down the grass, huh? Oh well, we've reached the river. You might even find that bridge I've been looking for. Well, that's what I was planning to find, to be fair. But it's, it is way further down, I think. It's about a mile down. Times to get dark, do you know? <laughs> yeah, we may be going up another way. Oh, Ray. <laughs> What? Then he's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the state of it. Oh my god. You know, I think we've had better ideas than this. I was hoping that something might go wrong today and we could just cancel. Well, nearly did. I wish I'd have brought some hot chocolate. My hands are freezing. Mine are too, holding this bloody contraption. <sighs> so, we don't know where we're going. We're looking for a sheepfold, are we not? Uh, well, there's two. There's there's one on our there's two on our left actually. I think. Is that? Uh, well, one ahead of us, and then there's a left, and then the the bridge, which is. Not massive. Okay. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> there goes my microphone. Still working. Good to read it fall in water. I wouldn't hear the end of that, would I? Is that deep? No. Oh, you're just going to say that anyway, aren't you? Wait for me. <laughs> Off. They weren't supposed to go in it. Right, I need a wee. I need a wee. I'm just going to crouch and have a wee. Hang on then, just let me fit you with you. What? I thought you weren't videoing. I've just put it back on. Now oh, you, you said you're going to have a wee. Go on then, have a wee. Oh. I'd like to walk down that valley, really, to get away from this wind. Right. Stop. Well, we can go down this bit. Ooh, can't so, we? So I'm thinking. We're st still going to be wet down there, you know. I'm not worried about the wa water. Today I think we'll be putting quite a lot of music on our video, our walk. Walking, talking and looking not easy. The band's Mactonic Valley, as you probably know. They really suit our stuff well. With full permission to use it, they said. It's really good. Oh, this is looking really good. I have to walk down there. I want to see what's over here. Out, my love. Yeah, so is the wind. Should we head down that way? Just so you're in control, you know, you're a man. <laughs> That's a good 
complete bloody lie. You wear the trousers, don't you? This river must be the Cramig, is it? What? I'm guessing this river must be the Cramig. Could be. Yeah, the bridge we're looking for is a little pack horse bridge down here somewhere. Nobody's found it except us. Yeah. Several um, attempts I've made. The, um, a guy called Harris the Diker, who was a school teacher and uh, suffered from ill health. And his doctor recommended him to get an outside job. There's a thingy here, so. Yeah. So he thought, I'll do a bit of stone walling. So a lot of the stone walls around here will have his mark on it. What's it up for? That'll be above us yeah. soon. That'll be above us, that's sheep pen soon, I think. Yeah, I reckon so. We'll be down here anyway. Really? Well, you did see where you saw it on your phone, didn't you? I did. I could have a look. If it works. We're getting our bearings and our wind back. No, would you believe it? The internet doesn't work down here. did it all in his lifetime. In the old days when people were doing stone walls, um, they had a marker. Yeah. They did so many yards a day both sides. They bought them lodgings for the night. No money, just food. Hobby. All this water eventually ends up in there. Solby Dam. It's 154 acres in total, apparently. Size of an average Manx farm. And 4,000 acres of rain feed it. It was built in 1979 by French Kia. And it's rumoured that the machinery was so knackered when they finished, they left it in the damn wall and built it, built over it. I don't know where that's true or not, folks. Don't know. come down to the water's edge. It's wet, but it's a lot less windy. <coughs> it's 
So we're making our merry progress down the old valley. As I said, they do call it a meandering stream. And that's where we come from. Looks a blinking steep hike back up to the car just at the top of the hill there. Roxy now, let's go, come on. This doesn't look fun. Penny, no, go. You okay, dear? Fine, darling. I can say so far this has been the most challenging video I've done. Oh, really? Oh, oh. Ray, this isn't getting much better. Better, eh? I don't know how you're going to get round here without falling in, really. You should put the big bag on your back. Yeah, you would too. I'll tell you what, if that... Somebody's going to get some abuse when I get home. <laughs> I know, how funny will that be if I still don't find that? You have to say though, it is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll never do this again. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Every time we go out, you say that. There's just got to be easier ways to get to it, really, isn't there? Yeah. I think a quad, personally. Bird's nest up there. Just in nature, amazing. The last tree found a sheltered spot. I know it's a grove, but in the middle of two is the nest. Well, I found some stones. I was thinking there's something there, <coughs> wasn't there? I don't know whether we go that way or this way. Oh, the choices I have in my life. This way. No, go away, dogs. Go on. Go find the cat. Where's the cat? Go get the cat. Go on. You're just as bloody nosy as me. You've wanted to come down here for days and years, Blinko. Any other wise girlfriend would just dump you here. No, they say, Ray. Amazing at your age, you can still do these things. Where's this bridge? God! More stones up there? Oh, you already know, because you're buggering off on me. I'm just going to see, my love. You need shabbard. Oh, shit. Hey, what's that? What is that? Um. Else you don't know. 
Whether well, it's a very small can or for a, for a sheep shelter or a shepherd shelter. Mm. <clears throat> Are we going back down by the river? Yeah. I'm constantly reminded how pretty the Isle of Man is. Without today, there's not a soul about just us. Could be Leicester, could be Scotland, could be Ireland, could be Wales, but it's the Isle of Man. I'm not cold. I'm not cold now. <laughs> we reckon we're about halfway there. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Um. Find the bridge, Roxy. As usual, we've got our faithful hounds with us. Where's Penny on that side? I have no idea. Stupid bat. Oh! God! I somehow think there are easier ways than this to get the Kramick. <gasps> I found it! Is that your bridge? Oh my god, it's not that tiny. No, I didn't think it would oh, be. Hooray! Right, let's go back. No, we're going to see it. Penny, we found the bridge. Woo! -hoo. See, I knew my mood was going to whoa get better as soon as I find it. Well, it wouldn't be difficult, would it? Oh, oh wow! Yay! That's one of the things we've been look, looking for. I wonder if that one's ever been filmed, that little bridge. It'll be immortalised from now on anyway. Good, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. You have to ask yourself why on earth did they build it there? I wonder what the attraction was. Ooh. It kind of disappeared off the film. <laughs> That's not land. That's just fake land. <sighs> oh, I've got prickles in my hand now. You got what in your hand, love? Pricks. Oh dear. Ah, put it on that thing there. <laughs> We're gonna have a sit in that little bridge and have a bit of a few minutes video and go. How do we have a drink? Do you know what? I don't think anyone's ever going to go and look for this one no. in that book. How am I going to describe this nicely? I mean, I'm just amazed as to what I just said as to why they built it there. Yeah. Come on. 
Come on, Pen. Oh. Go and sit on the bridge then. Sit on it. It's going to hold two fatty. Two fatties? No, it's not, it's, not, it's not the most comfortable bridge. No, I can see that. It's a great well, how they get, It must have been just for horses. You're never going to cart over it. I'd just say just for people, really. Yeah. Well, what a strange place to build it. I mean, it's probably the steepest side of the valley we've been to, both sides. Mm. Imagine hauling the stone to to build it and cement. It'd all have to be done by hand or a horse, wouldn't well, it? Well, it's not cement in this, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, masonry. Yeah. Huh. Um, so I reckon that's called Snail Hill, then, maybe. I think you're probably <laughs> right. I think we should go up Snail Hill. Do you? Yeah. You're evil. Why do we do that? Well, you've just made me do that. I would have came in a different <laughs> way. I don't know which way, but not this way. Why is that? Well, I've got the pickles in my hand. I have fell over. Yeah, it must be OK. No, it's all right for you. Listen, I'm walking one-handed. And I've got this on my back. It's balanced up though, isn't it? Balanced. Anyway, we found it. Something we've been looking for, girl. Between us. Yeah. What can we ask for? Sandwiches. I am getting hungry, I must be honest. Yeah. You heading up the hill? We'll just go down a little bit further and see what's around this next bend and then we'll make a decision. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Or downwards, in my case. Yeah, too. And there's the other viewpoint of the little bridge. Cement, it doesn't look like it's got cement in it to be fair. If the water, if the water rushes down the stream. The iron oxide there leading out with the river bleeding the colour down. Guess what else I found? What? Sheep pen. Where? Right there. Hang on, I'm getting towards you. See? Oh, yes. <laughs> And we thought we may miss it. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, sod it, don't care. And just behind those trees there, I'm not sure what those planters are called, but behind that is close farm. Oh my God, and, are we going up? And the rumours are that they actually moved from close to Pramag. And they slung a rope from across this ravine from that side to the other side to carry the furniture and stuff across. Some men in those days, some men. Well, that was a, a challenging little walk. <laughs> Off. Hey. Never again. Oh. And that's where we came from. If we got our breath back from that assault of the hill, we're just amazed at the neatness of this wall. Just look at it. Every one of those stones is placed by one hand. Maybe two. 
Look at it. Even the top stones are on the slant or on the water. Perfect, water. isn't it? Just perfect, isn't it? See the marker stones, Carla? Huh? See where they stick out of the wall? Oh, aye. Always, that was your payment when you built the wall. That was your marker. All right. That was a yard a day or whatever it is you did, both sides. So wow. <laughs> you put that in to tell people, well, I've done that today. That's my Aunt Pellia. Yep. We should have come in from that way. It looks way better. Well, it's wetter. Is it? Worse than this way. Yeah. I mean, you could go back that way and walk up the road if you want. Do you want knocked out? Just trying to be, you know. Annoying. Oh, I do that, don't I? Breathing annoys you. So that was the gate into the sheep pen. Lovely. And just on the horizon there, just on the horizon is Montpellier. Another place that House of Dyke was supposed to build. So you get your bearings. Just over the top of the wall there's Druidale Farm. And the cows moved to Druidale in the 1930s or 40s. So this little wall is perfectly circular. Been here now, I reckon, maybe, how many years do you reckon? Maybe 200 years? Yeah, easily. Astonishing, isn't it? Mm. I've never seen such a lovely one. Still totally complete, isn't it? Yep. You can tell she's impressed. I am impressed, but I'm not impressed with how to get here. She's not a happy girl. <laughs> She's well, like, I fell over loads of times, and I just did. fell in the river. You, you, you really are a soldier. And you just leave me. What's on that gate post there, my love? Ha, <laughs> Kayla. See, somebody's always been here before you. This Kayla's always been all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> How funny, I wonder who Kayla is. We're now coming down to what Carla reckons is the gateway in. Okay. I'm no scientist like, but there is a gate there. See that Luke folks? She's going to make yoghurt later. <laughs> Me? <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Stop being so positive. <laughs> Sorry. One of my <laughs> trademarks apparently. That's the way in, isn't it, Roxy? Only that, isn't it? Oh, and so Penny's found the way in. Arrived at the gate, and I reckon this would be one of the original gates. Could be. Still here. Oh, there must have. There's obviously a way in from down there, isn't there? With way the, up. the road that used to come up through the reservoir. Yeah. Yeah, I have to look for that. So that's where our aim is. Right in the distance, that's Cramming Farm. And what delights we're going to find there today. Mm. We're going down the wall. Yeah. So we're now approaching the uh, main yard of Cramick. It's gone a bit blustery. There are the odd machines still lying around up here because not easy to take it, I guess. God, it's cold. First bit of machinery we're going to come across is a thing called an old reaper. See so you can see what the name is on, Carla. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like spikes there. It's good, isn't it? It's dangerous. Yes, yeah, you could trip over that, couldn't you? You'd be in the shit if you fell on them. Where would I find the name? Hmm. I don't know. No. 
it, Roxy. <laughs> this is an old reaper, though, definitely. I reckon this must be one of the made roads in with that big flagstone there. Lovely little uh, entrance way. A bit wide for a road. Great on there, big slate stones though. It's a little tin house there. I know, so you must have gone to trouble doing that. Mm. <laughs> Look at that, Carla. Yeah, I've been up here with Sammy. Have you? Yeah. Which we... way did you go up the, up the dam? Around that, yeah, up the dam, and then we had to go back that way. Steep though, wasn't it? It was very steep. So on the left where that little mangle was is the house, I think. We're just going to find somewhere a bit sheltered to have our sandwiches. It's still a bit blowy. Right, where should we start, darling? Um, let's go up here. Uh, spotted a wheel. I saw the wheel when we came down. I'm going in. Yeah. So this is, I reckon this would have been a fashion barn. Dodgy, isn't it? <laughs> Shit. Because right in front of us here is some of an old shaker machine for the for the thrasher. Where Car Carla, are you up there, are you? Well, I'm trying to get up there without slipping, yeah, but... Don't hurt yourself. I've had the and time of Carla's my life today. Going, there's a big wheel in front of her. And that would have been connected to the horse mill outside. So we're going to look at that in a second. And just by a, on the left there, just point to that big cog, a little cog there, Carla. This here? Yeah. Yeah. That was on top of that big wheel. That was the gearing for the machine. All right. Careful, girl. Yeah, the amount of times I fell today. I'm, I know. My legs are like jelly. <sighs> Still a bit of a wooden lintel above that as well, amazing. Bit of a bed here. Another bed end. Just here. Line the ground here, Carla. Mm -hmm. This would have been a backbone for a hot water system. Oh, right. This is the back door to the house we're going to go in through now. I think somebody's put some wood here to make it a bit more intact so it won't all fall down. Look. There we are, haven't we? Well, unless that was there from new, from when it was built. Oh, I don't know, because one on this side. Doesn't have anything, does it? Hey, oh, yes. It's got nettles. Yeah, the old nettles are taken over well and truly, aren't they? Oh, I'm having the time of my life today. You coming? Yeah, yeah, right behind you, my love. I don't think I was that brave when I came with the camera. I think I looked at her and thought, sod that. Yeah. I'll go first, shall I? Yeah. All right. You know I said about that boiler outside? Yeah. Look here. What? Come back. Oh, would it have been in there? It would have been in there. Oh, gee, there's loads of prickles in here. And they would have had that little opening in the corner here for keeping the salt and sugar in. Here's the kitchen. There's still a pot. I remember this from your book. It's oh. very overgrown in here now, isn't it? Look, no, there's your pot. Not, I didn't do this in my book. What, you have? Yeah, not this pot. Oh, right, well, oh, there's a pot then. 
I've never, never seen this fireplace before. Haven't you? Yeah. Oh, right. it's Bloody hell. <laughs> God, we are dedicated. Safe one. Very overgrown. <laughs> oh, stop. Ugh. Carla mentioned the pot in the corner that I've did it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, um, that pot, the uh, I did, was up on Felty Hill Farm. This is one I've never seen before. Brick fireplace. Huge big lintel above the door. Above the fireplace. Uh, and the right. metal's taken over. This also had looks like a little oven in the side of it. So I've made a pathway for you. <laughs> what a little sweetie. <laughs> That looks like you're chilling there, doesn't it? It does. I'm not getting out this way. You go out through that window, actually. Right, as long as it doesn't fall. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. Little fireplace there. It'd be quite cosy. We're not going to risk the porch entrance. We're going to get to the window. Be the porch. Right. Oh, I can picture it now. Yes, I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, that's. Ow! The front of the house. And down here we've got a little old mangle. And it was a. Uh, what's it saying there, my love? Hey. Does it say who it is? Uh, Registered. Registered. Design. Trademark. We haven't got a clue. Uh, design now. So oh, that is. W.T. Watley from Douglas. That manx mangle. Wow. Is that a house as well over there? Let's go up there. We've got a horse mill here. Oh, all we need now is that fog to come down and then we're stuck. Ah, oh, we'll get home, girl. Never fear. <laughs> All oh, those Balakubi uh, slate pillars. So Carla's going to walk around now, the horse work. Go on, girl, away you go. Am I? Yeah. I didn't volunteer for anything. Gee up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure, any, this may be a one or a two horse walk. Did they go clockwise or anti clockwise? I think they go the way you're going. Hmm. We got a ratchet system on these ones to stop the horse getting strangled. It's a big size, this probably would be a two horse walk. You know what that is? It doesn't go there. It's called the Avery Scales. Yeah, I thought so. And the last time I was in here, the top was lying down behind you in that shed. So I put them back together. All right. That's like six or seven years ago. And I made a story up about the Avery Scales. Ah, yes. That's unlike you, of making up stories. The salesman. <laughs> That's what they do. So you can see uh, from where Carla was, it's a huge horse walk. I'm assuming he's still here. Uh, that would turn around, obviously, and then there will be a big axle going down past the AV scales into the shed under these stones here. There is the end result. <laughs> Questions? I've just spotted um, Percy Brooks's place. As we've always said when we do these things, these places look very remote. But that little white cottage in the hillside is called uh, Lurky Freddy. Is it? Yeah, that's right, Lurky yeah. Freddy. And that was the home of the Brooks. And there was a murder taken place there a few years ago. So there's quite a, a, a murderous little world up here. We had Kewish, we had that one there, and the guy up here used to do the hanging, so.
So I'm gonna try and have a little look at all the little buildings that's here while we're up. <sighs> this is the next little shed we're gonna go to. We just had our lunch behind this one. This little shed here with these little openings would have been a piggery. But the pigs would just go in there on their own. The pigs yeah. are very clean and tidy. And I reckon above the piggery would have been a pigeon loft. Mm. Or a hen loft, see where the hens they would come in out of that step there. There's another kale, I think, on the gate. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> Carla desperately wants to have a pee. So that's where you did it. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> See the lovely circular wall. Got the effort to build a wall around the toilet and big slates on the roof. And then if you can see there in the bottom, folks, uh, off the back of the wall there, that's my job and the kid in our house at home and the farm. We used to have to empty the poo out once a year. And that's where you emptied it with a spade. Where the dogs are was the garden. Got the ubiquitous thorn trees. Hang the washing and the pots on, as Carla tells you. She calls them pegger trees, do you, darling? I do. And then we also got in there the um, ash trees for the spirit world. Oh, I'm absolutely freezing. The only items we look at now is this one here. The next, the last one we're going to poke around in is this building here. Never find an acreage off this, but the uh, Cowleys left it in uh, 1930, roughly. Although Hector Duff did mention he came up a few times in the 50s and 60s, uh, but it was a ruin by then. No, it was in the 30s when Hector came up. Was it? Yeah. People are still visiting, leaving their marks on the old, uh, what sort of tree is this? Uh, maybe it's an ash tree. Might well, be a sycamore, I think. Yeah, they last lived here in about uh, 1935. Did he? Yeah. All right. This reminds me of Robin Hood. What? We lost that the other night, didn't we? You know, the little archways where they would shoot arrows out through oh, these yeah. little things in the wall. <laughs> it's a bit fancy, it's a little fancy, isn't it? It's just a bit more sheltered than where we were. Should have had sandwiches here, shouldn't we? Yeah. So when they left here, they went to Druidil and then they went to a place called Cramig. I'm not sure in what order. <coughs> Carla? Yeah? See if you can stand that thing up on his feet. Can you do it? <laughs> oh, well done. This is the amazing find up here. That would have been used for um, when you had tumps in a ridge or potatoes, you yeah. use this to actually rub, grub out the weeds in the ridge. All right. They must have grown turnips or potatoes <laughs> up here at one time. Amazing. Wow. Huh. Oh my god, have you seen that rain cloud? Oh, you'll be alright. I am not alright. I think this would have been the original road, Carla. What? This here. See the where we are here? I reckon this would have been the original road. Oh right. You see what I mean? It's got the yeah, wall yeah. and the hedge there. Yeah. So she would have gone down the side of the hill and then around to the valley below. Yeah, it's definitely going to have been a zigzag down that Couldn't hill. Couldn't have done the... any other way. <laughs> Always a bit dubious about coming to places. You never know what you're going to find. And, um, ah, there, look, you see. Hmm? On some sort of weird, creepy film. That'd be human bones, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> no doggies. More machinery there would be belong to the old fashioned mill, I'm sure. And right in front of the dogs and Carlos Drudale Dam, or Sulby Dam, I should say. Ooh. Built in 79, before Carla was born. Do you know how many acres it is? 154 acres it is. Oh, and what was the depth? Uh, 52 metres average. 25, I think it was. Was it 25? Yeah. I know, like they say, the catchment area was 4,000 acres. And this was a necessity on the Isle of Man, a dam, had to be. So you had something, didn't you have something to say about it as well, your bit? Oh yeah, John Cowley was, uh, he ended up being the hang man, <laughs> another hanging, for a look, Isle of Man Love Triangle it's called, if you Google it, and it's about, what's the name, Catherine Kinraid and John Kamish. And they both sort of fell in love with each other, but John had already married Catherine's sister. Oh, I didn't know that he married his sister. Yeah, he'd married his older sister, but he fancied the younger one. Right. As they do, right? <laughs> um, anyway, this was like 1823, and they plotted then, like the, the wife, John's wife, John Cormier's wife, was uh, pregnant. So they plotted to kill her, because you know, she was in the way. And the other one, so I've read as well, Catherine, she was pregnant too, so they were wanting to be together and all that. So they went into Ramsey and got some poison. Um, anthrax, wasn't it? Did it say? No. No. No, what was it called? Um, arsenic. Arsenic, I knew it would begin with A. So they went to get some arsenic. The sister put it in a porridge. She got a bit sick, didn't really kill her. So then the husband went back into Ramsey, got some more. Fed it to her like a medicine and said, this will make you better. It's going to clear up some unknown illness that he told her that she had. And she died pretty quickly after that. Anyway, there was um, suspicion around it. The pair of them got found guilty for the murder. And uh, they both got hanged. They went, off. they went off to Castle Russian. And this, this bit made me laugh. Because when I was reading it, it said that they'd, they'd updated the castle <laughs> in a... Uh, what did it say? 1815 or something? Yeah. 1815, they up they upgraded the castle and think, wow, an upgrade. I've seen that castle. <laughs> God, it was like before. So uh, they went off over there and uh, she wasn't very well educated. She, she didn't even know how to pray and stuff like that. So while she was in Castle Russian, she learnt to pray. And it was all for her spirituality of, as to where she was going to go. And they forgave each other, which was unusual, shook hands. Because normally, you know, if, if there's a, a double people killing, they blame each other, but yeah. they didn't. They forgave each other, and she sort of accepted her fate and was okay with it all. But he, kind of four days before, was still not admitting murder. He was uh, not eating and shaking a lot and things like that. And eventually, you know, he, he confessed to the murder, saying, yeah, I did do it. And, um, then they went over to, it says, um, the gallows, which was by the sea, which I'm guessing is Hango Hill. Yeah. They both got hooked up and uh, they're on the back of a car. They called it something to do with the, oh, I can't remember the place now. It's somewhere in the UK, it's, it's how they do the hanging from the UK. So it must have been a different system. Yeah. Um, and they were on the back of a car. John pretty much perished straight away, but for some reason they'd, they tied her Loose, not loosely looser. because she was a woman, yeah. so she, she had a bit of a struggle. Yeah, but um, and also according to some of um, the research that I did, she was pregnant, so it was a year later that she got hanged because she had the baby and then the baby was given away. All right. Went to the UK somewhere, so I'd love to know where that child is or what happened. Obviously, it went to an orphanage or something. Mm. That but, was yeah. 18... 1823. Which is like 50 years before the Cowish. So that, that was 50 years before the Cowish. Now, John Cowley was asked to do the hanging for John Cowish. And refused. But he refused point yeah. blank because he had such a rubbish time doing True. that one. Yeah. Forget that. It's not my cup of tea, thanks. So, yeah. It was amazing when, like, when you told me about this place and then that connection came into it. 
I couldn't believe it. So, you know, <laughs> wherever we go next, I'm wondering what, what connection am I going to find ne next time? Well, the next one we're going to do is Chester Farm. Chester Farm, so I have to look into that, who lives there. There's quite a lot and... to see down there. Yeah. That's uh, been good. So that was, that, that was interesting, that. It really was. And I found it quite, quite tragic that, you know, people fall in love all the time and, you know, you don't get hanged for it. But it, it was shaming, that's, that's, you know, they wanted to shame them and there was loads of people that had gathered round for this. Oh, they would do. Yeah, loads. So. Well, I think that's it, folks. Do you think Thanks. so, my love? We're Thank gonna, God, I'm yeah, getting cold. I'm very cold. The right. clouds are rolling in. It's time we headed home. Yeah. So, folks, uh, thanks for the videoing, or thanks for watching anyway. This will be out in a few weeks because it's quite a long one. And um, it's going to take a while to put it together, but we will do. We will do. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Roxy. Penny. <laughs>